quite frankly. That's how it works. I mean, if anyone's in the chat, you get to make the draft pick. This is how it works. It's thankful Thursday, you get to make the pick. I mean, as tempting as it is to take Shane Wright, who's high elite and a center, we have a right wing playmaker, franchise potential, ankle breaker, third eye, puck on a string, tape to tape. I think that's the obvious selection. I will take that pick. But if anyone's in chat and they want to help me make the next couple picks here, feel free to let your voice be heard. Send a few messages out. It's up to you. Uh, Kote is looking like a really good pick, but he's probably high nine. But high chance of being elite. That's kind of insane. Maybe he's high six. That looks like a good pick as well. Justin Kote. Five seven, 17 years old. Ludwig Jansen, Minton. Uh, I'm thinking Kote, like how can you pass that up, right? High nine, 66 overall at 17. He's definitely making the NHL this year for us. We need all the help we can get, so congratulations to him. He's gonna make the NHL. Uh, Lehnenen is gonna have high potential, which kind of intrigues me. I think I'm just gonna take him. I know that's probably not the best idea, but high fringe, 63 overall, I kinda like that potential for us. He'll play in the minors, maybe. Maybe he'll play in the minors this year. La Barbara pro, uh, pro mentality. I'm going to take La Barbara right away. Low six offensive defenseman is actually not that bad, especially in the fourth round for year number two. The draft is not usually as strong. Uh, Pierre Olivier Roy. Working with a, pan a chance, eh? Oh. I like boys better. I like boys better. Low bottom six. Are you serious? Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Don't make the don't make the guy I passed up on better. Don't do it. Oh thank God. Okay, it's low seventh. Also terrible. Take that Montreal. <laughs> oh man, we've had Montreal's number all year, even despite being a bad squad. Alright, we'll take how. We need the medium starter goalie. We'll take it if we can get it. 54 overall. Not great, but not bad, so we'll take it. Take what we can get. Uh, let's move on here. Uh, who's available? Steckel, high note. We'll take Petrovsky. Low six. Low nine. Oh, okay. Well, I'll still take it. Better than better than, a, better than AHL top six potential. So we'll take him. We'll go to the resign phase here. We'll resign our scouts just to keep it simple. Although they're not good. Yeah, we're going to let go of low. He's literally an E. Look of Kaminsky here. They all seem to be resigned. Now, which coach did we lose? Uh, NHL assistant coach? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's actually kind of good. It gives us a chance to, uh, to sign a better coach. The coach we had last year was not ideal. So, we'll start with Cole Sherwood. Give him the contract he wants. A two-year deal worth 2.5. Honestly, it's fine by me. Karan, a two-year deal worth $3 million. Literally, I'm just going to give these guys what they want. Uh, they deserve it. They put up a much better performance than I expected anybody to put up on this team. We'll give Kirkland what he wants. We'll give Pearson what he wants. You know, all these guys can be re-signed because we have so much space for players. Like, we don't, we have a ton of room. Like, we don't, we're not, like, limited here. We have 37 contracts as it is. And we're looking to sign more guys and get up to around 40. That way the computer doesn't sign anybody for us. So that's our goal this off season. So all Mary's gonna be signed. Like everyone here is gonna be signed. And everyone here is allowed to be used by me because they are from the expansion draft. So I'm just gonna sign everybody what they want, except for you guys. I'm gonna wait and give them a lot of money. So Sandstrom here, I'll sign. McNiven, I'll sign. Just keeping it super simple. Garrett Sparks, I'm gonna sign. Like all these guys are being signed. Same with Hunter Mishka. I'll sign the AHL or the unsigned goalies as well, as I need to bring them in. They just got drafted, so they need to be brought in. I will make sure they play. Don't worry about that. Uh, Farmer is going to come in here and help out our boy on the first line, hopefully. Uh, Cote is going to come in here. Boys, they're all being signed. I don't care. They're all going to play in the NHL most likely. So um, we'll, see how, we'll see how it goes. First game, first dub. Damn, Frankie, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we're taking dubs here too, man. We're we're, uh, we're drafted well, and uh, we're not losing every game at least. I'm here. I made it. Oh, thank you, MTV, for stopping by. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I appreciate you stopping by. We're just hanging out, doing a challenge mode. 
uh, where we're only allowed to build through the draft. So this is definitely a tough one. Definitely a tough one. So we'll see who didn't say yes. So Dershak said no. So we'll just give him that. Uh, Hutton, I'm going to give him a one year, one way deal worth $17 million. Uh, Reichel, I'll give him a one year deal worth $17 million. Lucky bastard gets to get paid to not play. Um, yeah, we'll give one more of these deals to you. Perfect. Uh, D. Stevens, you get a beautiful $16.7 million contract. Congratulations. We'll sign Elmer. We'll sign Lovric. Yeah, I like it here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let me know if the music's loud enough, eh? I have uh, <clears throat> I have music on in the background, but let me know if it's loud enough because I, I have it pretty quiet usually. So just let me know. Everyone should say yes. $15 million left in cap space. Congratulations to Garrett Sparks. You are going to get paid $14 million to be our goalie. Beautiful. 42 players under contract. Not at any risk of losing anybody here. So we'll send to free agency. We can't sign anybody because that's just the way this franchise mode works. I will open up our trade block here to anybody over the age of 20. So if uh, computers want to take on our players who they saw played really well last year on a bad team, they want to take them on as depth players they can for a playoff run, whatever, so be it. Whatever the computers want to do, they can do. So anybody over the age of 21, offense, defense, I'll even include goaltending this year is available. So I'll do goalie 20. So that that's everybody. It's perfect. And then here, once we're not allowed to get players in return, we can only take on draft picks to then draft players that we'll use. So we'll we'll just add a bunch of draft picks as our as our wants and see uh, see what we get offered here. So those are our wants. Those are our surplus. And uh, see what the computer offers us. We're definitely going to go after a, uh, a good coach as well. This team is rough, man. B minus coach. We dropped it overall. We've got an A coach available. Basically, if you fit Ivanov, you can be the coach. That's how it's going to work. Sophia's. There we go. Gilbert Vigier. I don't care if he fits veterans. I'm signing him. Gilbert or Gilbert Vigier. I'm going to assume he's French. Gilbert Vigier. I don't know. I, I think I just had a stroke there trying to say that. But nonetheless, we're signing Gilbert. <sighs> signing Gilbert to the contract he wants. I think the music can probably be a bit louder, eh? I'm going to have a little bit more. <clears throat> so a $6.2 million should be more than enough for Gilbert to say yes. We'll see. Uh, so I'll move you down to the age NHL assistant coach. See what happens. So and stay. Oh yeah, scouting as well. We have to hire two scouts at least. We'll see who's available. Maybe if there's a bunch of A scouts, I'll sign them all. But we got a B scout available. So we'll sign him instead of hopefully he doesn't go to Boston. And we'll sign Gru. We'll sign Eve Gru as well. So we got hopefully Craig Anderson signs here in Houston. It's a beautiful place to live. Beautiful city. Let's hope he says yes. Uh, VJ said no. I offered you six million dollars a year and you say no? Oh. Oh no. Not like this. Oh no, the ops are limited now. Signing Sophias, man. <laughs> We're signing Sophias. He fits defensemen, so maybe he'll get our defense growing even more, but. I offered $6.2 million. That was $2 million more per year for the other guy. And he still said no. So, Sophias might not say yes to this deal, guys. I don't know. I might offer him. Like, right now, we're about to offer him at least double his uh, his asking price. So, like, if he says no to $5 million a year, that would make him one of the most paid, highest paid coaches in the league. Then I don't know what more I can do to get a better coach here. I don't know what more I can do. I don't want to offer like the max deal, but it is believable that we'd sign a good coach because we want our players to grow. So we'll we'll sign the 56 year old to us to a deal here. Craig Anderson says yes, yeah, so that's kind of nice. Uh, Zach Dalpy and Cole Sherwood for two second round picks. I'm gonna decline it for now. Sophia says yes. Let's see the next season. I want to see if I can get a first. Pittsburgh's offering a second round pick for Zach Dalpy. 
god, bro, imagine. Third and a fourth for Lipanov. Second for Dalby. Do I say yes? Alright, it's up to you guys. Do I say yes to this? I'll show you. I'm gonna press the edit trade button, but I'm not editing it. This is up to you. Uh, MTV, Frankie, whoever's in the chat right now, let me know. A 78 overall player. 32 years old for a second round pick from Pittsburgh. Do we say yes to this deal? Do we say yes? If you want to say yes, either send a thumbs up, send the yes, just write yes in the chat. Do we say yes to this deal? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking we just take it and run, right? I feel like that has to be what we do. He didn't fit our team well last year, Dalpy. He was on the third line. I don't know why he grew so much. 78 overall. Yeah, he's 78 overall. Do we say yes to this deal? Basically, to give you a hint, usually you want at least an 80 overall player on your team. So usually a 78 overall player, you would be able to trade for maybe, might be a risk. No, it, it, trust me, this is this is a steal. This is a fleece job. Um, like normally, you wouldn't be able to trade a 78 overall player for a second round pick. So like, the way it, the value would work, let's say like this was like, any other franchise mode where I'm playing people in their proper positions, Zach Dalpy wouldn't be worth a seventh round pick. So the fact that we got a second round pick for him is kind of shocking. They have Farmer playing center, but I'd rather him play with Ivanov. Only at a plus one. McCormick needs to get off that line. Kirkland's playing second line. Full Sherwood can go up there with these guys. Yeah. That's our... That's our lineup here. Yeah, this is the line. Can Cole Sherwood take a shot? He got a decent shot. Three star shooting. All right, Stelio Mateo. Second liner, McCormick. He's not playing the second line. We got Lipanov up there. Uh, Ogilvy's on the team. No, there's no chance Ogilvy's playing this team. Claudia. Yeah, this, this team has to change fast. Uh, Veal. Veal's a really good fit for the squad, too. I mean, I like that second line the way it is. Defense. Curran and Berglund. I'm not stupid enough to bench our guys who got success last year. Who's scratched right now? Safin was on the first line, but Safin can play anywhere. Blake Spears. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're not making it. You're not playing first line. Let's get Safin going on the third line, maybe? Instead of Veal. Let's get Safin going. Yeah, Safin fits this squad really nicely. So let's let's call up some prospects here. Let's call up some prospects here. See when we get going. Uh, our prospects are our priority. So <clears throat> call up our, all our prospects. So Kote is being called up. Zika is being called up. Tikhanov is being called up. We'll send down. Uh, did you play last year? I don't think you did. Uh, we'll send on you. We'll send down Ogilvy. We'll send down. Did we draft you? No, we didn't. We'll send down Grolo. Although he's a really good fit, so maybe we'll leave him there for now. Cormick? No, McCormick. That's fine. Okay, and the system. Who else needs to be called up? Basically, we're looking for 18 and 19 year olds. So Roloffs needs to be called up. Oh, Junior Cruz is being called up without a doubt in my mind. And so is Boys. Oh man, we have some players to call up here. Uh, we'll send down Veal, Grolo, and Spears. Oh my god, okay, there you go. Node, nope, not a good pick. Petrovsky, Voloshenko, I think is one of our picks as well. Yep, Voloshenko and Hoffman. Oh my god, this is gonna be a terrible squad. All right, we'll send down, uh, does Almari fit this team? No. It's Almari, Richard, and Geiser? Them down. Who else? It's a pick from us. Button there. Lovric, I think it was a... Oh, La Barbara? Christopher La Barbara. I think that should be everybody. I think that's everybody we've drafted. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So now we need to find a way to get all our prospects. You're going to play a game with him? Uh, I don't usually play any games. You know what? Maybe I'll play the first game of the season just for fun. Maybe I'll do that. So we got Farmer uh, up there. I want... Sherwood there. We got Kirkland with Lipanov and Mateos. Those are really good lines. 
uh, Stuart Roloffs. I want to get him going. Where's Cote, Cote fit? Second line. Okay. Ipanov, can you play third? Yes, you can. Stuart Roloffs. Safin. I think I'm going to go with Stuart Roloffs on the first line. I want him to grow. Uh, Tikhonov needs to play for sure. He can definitely play fourth line. Uh, Pearson and Lanya can come out. So Lanya's not playing. Put Hoffman in the lineup. There you go. Get our rookie in there. And then one, at least one more prospect needs to play. So Petrovsky does not fit. Boys does. So Boys is playing for sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a plus one on the fourth line. What legends? All right, Hoffman, do you have a good shot? No, Boys got a better shot. So we'll put Boys on that side. Can you take faceoffs? No, Tikhonov can. Lipinov can. Kote can. Ivanov can. Okay, so this is a decent squad. We got some good pluses going around. I mean, I think Kolsher would play on the first line so these guys can grow properly. Safin can play with the rollouts and Lipinov. I like that better. Defense, Karan. With Berglund? No, no, no. Cruz. Cruz fits the first line like a hero. He needs to play up there. But Zikov, good second liner. Berglund, a good third unit guy. Oloshenko, a good second unit guy. What about LaBarbera? Good second unit guy. Curran, also a good second unit guy. What about... Who's the other prospect we have? No one. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Uh... I mean, plus one's fine. You don't need a plus two. 87 offensive awareness. Junior Cruz, bro. Look at that acceleration, too. Oh, my God. 87 passing. This guy's so weird. I love it. All right. I, wa I really want to get Petrovsky in. I'm going to trade Lipinov. I'm going to trade Lipinov. It has to happen. Okay, yeah, we're trading Lipinov. I'm sorry, Lipinov, buddy. We like you, but I saw he can get me a third or fourth round pick, so we're gonna trade him with the fine trade tool. We're gonna send down the guys who aren't in the lineup. So I believe yeah, we're trading. We're sending down Lanya. We're sending down. Uh, there's a defenseman. I'm pretty sure. One, two, five, six. No, it wasn't a defenseman. Two, four. Uh, I mean, Lipanov's not playing, but it's not him. They're all in. What about Pearson? Send those guys down. Beautiful. Uh, goaltending, we got uh, Sandstrom McNiven in the NHL. And right now we have these guys in the system. So, I mean, that could work. That's fine. Let's edit the AHL lines now. So AHL do best lines. Head coach preferred lines. Beautiful. Scratch, that's all good. Uh, we drafted him. We drafted Lau and Lainan in. So at least one of them needs to play. Hunter Mishka's not going to make it. So we'll go with Lainan in as a backup with Garrett Sparks as a starter. And then in the NHL, we have Sandstrom with uh, Michael McNiven. So there you go. That's the squad for now. It is not, and I mean it is not a good team. We'll do a quick fine trade with uh, Lipanov. He should have value. Yeah, low nine, 76 overall, 23 years old. Third and a fourth from Buffalo. Third and a fourth from Islanders. Third and a fourth from the Kraken. I'd rather make the trade with Buffalo. So thank you, Buffalo, for a third and a fourth round pick. Trading Lipanov away. I believe it's for next year's draft. Yeah, they give us next year's picks, not this year. Same with Pittsburgh, not this year's draft, next year's draft. So uh, year number three's draft is going to be pretty simple, but year number four is going to have a few extra picks. It's going to be kind of nice. So we'll uh, we'll quickly assign the scouts because there's a there's two scouts that we just signed, so we need to send them somewhere. So we got an AHL Pacific. So OHL has four scouts. Yeah, that's a little much. Dell SHL SHL Liga Elsvenskin Russia Russia. You can come out of the Elsvenskin. Elsvenskin after year number one has nothing. And after year number two. We'll send you the Liga. Because Liga is most of the players now. Uh, we'll send you to... I think US is fine. What about Europe? Extra Liga can use a guy. We'll send you to Extra Liga. 
you go. That's our scouting system right there, all sorted out. Uh, and then we'll head into the uh, the season with the NHL squad. So send the next preseason game. We're not going to play the preseason game. We are going to play the home opener just to have some fun with it on stream. Uh, for those on YouTube, this probably won't be featured on the video. So the home opener. Oh my God, we start the year with five game road trip. Home opener against the rival Nashville Predators. We beat them in the preseason pretty easily. Oh shit, I'm going to call. One second, I'll be right back. I need to go I'll open the door. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. We are uh, playing the game, first game of the year, or not first game of the year, first home opener that we're gonna be playing here. I don't know if this team's gonna be better or worse than last year's team, because last year's team did, had what, 18 wins? So we'll see how it goes. Uh, Christopher LaBarbera is leading our team in points as a defenseman on the third unit. This team is so strange. All right, let's do the power play. So right now we have Ivanov who doesn't really fit the power play. We have Farmer who does. You got Third Eye, we got Big Tipper. We got Cole Sherwood just kind of chilling. Berglund, Ote, up here. Instead of Karan, I really want Cruz on the power play. Okay. I got Cole Sherwood, Stelio Mateo. And Hoffman as an enforcer fits it though, he fits it. I want roll offs to get going. And then instead of you, can you be like a left defender? Run is an offense defenseman. Burke. Oh, LaBarbara. He's got, a, he's got points. <laughs> LaBarbara's got points, man. If we can get LaBarbara going, that'd be kind of funny. We'll do that. Uh, four man power play, I'll leave all that stuff. Uh, penalty kill. Some pluses out here. Yeah. Okay, plus two on that one. Three man PK. And we're gonna go with uh, the guys who get it done. So we'll go with Cole Sherwood. We're gonna go with, uh, instead of Petrovicki, we're gonna go with uh, Stella Mateo. This is a much higher overall. Uh, we got Petro. The center. How do we have a center? Defense. Uh, so Zykov. Uh, we'll go with Voloshenko. He fits. Okay, good. Zykov. I put Bergen up. No. Okay, and then uh, LaBarbara, do you fit? You do perfect. Okay, so that's a that's our penalty killing lines for now. Uh, I'd rather Berglund, so we'll go Berglund on that one. So they go scratch. It's all good. Goalies sorted out. Uh, we'll see how this team does, man. This is this is a tough squad to win with. If anybody wants to offer me some trades where I can get like a first round pick or a second round pick, I will take it. But I'm thinking of keeping Cole Sherwood around uh, at a trade block. Hello. <sighs> Stop it. Stop it. We're not trading our plethora of draft picks. We don't really have that many draft picks, but we basically have ours and like two extra ones for next year, but we're not trading away our draft picks. Anybody over the age of 20 is available. So if anybody wants to offer me some exorbitant draft picks, 
for players who don't deserve to be trading for those draft picks, I will take it. I'm actually going to include goalies on the trade block as well um, because we have six goalies in our system now, so I'm not too concerned with with uh, losing a goalie now where it would sign a random guy or I'm stuck with them and it's just confusing. So now we have draft picks, man. We have draft picks on the block that we want and going their way, fringe players who on any other team would not be on their roster, but because they're on our team, they have boosted value. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, Zach Dalby goes for a second round pick in uh, in the offseason. Big win over Arizona. Big win over Pittsburgh. Back-to-back -back wins. That must have been nice. That must have been nice for our fans to witness. They, 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 they get few and far between for wins. So, um, looking like we're on pace to be worse than last year, which is kind of unfortunate. But, you know, it is what it is. Not much we can do about it. Not much we can do about it, sadly. It is I should probably go edit the game settings again. Because every time I I changed it, right? Because I, I changed the game settings uh, to play the game. So let me just make sure it's back to what it should be. So, uh, rules. Okay. So, yeah, see, 20 minute periods, superstar, beautiful. Everything else I didn't change. So, 20 minutes on superstar instead of four. I don't know if that makes any difference in the simulation. We'll find out. Farmer's leading our team in points with 19, so we're not having a great season. So if anybody wants to acquire Cole Sherwood, maybe I'll go through with it. As soon as I change it to 20 minute periods, we start winning a few more games. I don't know, coincidence? I think not. No, it's definitely a coincidence. But 6-33 and two, last year we had 18 wins. This year we're on pace for like, what, like 10 wins? So definitely one of the worst seasons in NHL history at this point, at this rate. It would be nice for us not to do that, but I mean, our team is technically, I don't know, I mean, it, it looks better to me on paper, but I think our depth is much worse. Like last year, we had like some 70 overall players, 68 overall players on the third and fourth line. This year, we have like 58 overall players. So that's probably what's causing that that lack of depth to, to hurt us here. But 10 wins on the season going into the trade deadline. I doubt anybody's going to go after any of our players. Uh, I'll keep the current block. I'll see if anybody wants our guys. I'll try the fine trade thing with... He for sure or Cole Sherwood. I'll try it. But he has no value, so had more value in the offseason. A third and a fourth. So like I think I'm just gonna keep him. Unless Kote can play first line. Yeah. Offman? Cannot either. What about Roloffs? Can you? Hello? Game? Can I break you? Roloffs can play first line. So you know what? I will trade Cole Sherwood. Uh, third and a fourth from Winnipeg. If I can somehow sneak in a second from someone, that would be heroic. It's not looking like it. Two fourths at Carolina. I mean, why are you even bothering? We'll send Cole Sherwood to Boston. I want him to win. Let me just make sure Boston's good. Oh, Boston's very good. Have fun in Boston. Uh, have fun in Boston, Cole. We we want nothing but the best for you. You gave us some good year, a good year and a half here. We appreciate everything you've done for this franchise. That's it for the trade deadline. But we appreciate everything Cole Sherwood has done for this franchise. We do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it was time to let him go. It was time to let him go and have some fun. Please don't tell me that the. Piss me off, man. Piss me off. Just. It's always something with EA, man. It's always. 88 overall. Well, hello. Uh, we'll get roll offs going with you guys. We don't drop in potential. That would make me cry. These guys are a really good fit for the third line. I'm just curious. Can I get like a plus five going with someone on the third line? Yo, should I do it? I mean, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. We need them up here. We need them up here playing as many minutes as possible. Let's get roll-offs on the first line. Uh, I like Kote on the second. Maybe Pearson on the first line? Nah, I want roll-offs to get going. We need them to grow. Uh, Hoffman's definitely not playing fourth line. I want him up there. Uh, Pearson's going to be switched with Tikhanov. Uh, Kirkland's gonna be switched with Safine. So that's a good second line. I actually like that line a lot. 
They're not playing well. I'd have taken off last year though, that's the thing. I'm thinking we do this. Uh, this is just tricky. I think we need every plus we can get, right? We'll do plus one there, we'll get these guys going down there. Defense, I mean, we know Cruz is our first line guy. Honestly, I think we should get Barbara more ice time. Right? Should we? I don't think we do this, actually. Screw it. I mean... Cruise of Berglund? Berlin's a bit better than Karan, and he's got a better shot. Zikov. No, 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 no. We'll do, we'll do what was working decently well. We'll get, we'll get Berglin going, though, at least. And goalies, Sandstrom and McNiven will stay. Uh, McNiven has a better win percentage, but we'll go with Sandstrom. I'm not going to change the power place. I'm going to leave it as is. I'll let EA pick that for me. We're 2-7-1 in our last 10, so not a, a great season here for us either. So let's move on. Let's move on here. Hopefully we can get to like 12 wins by the end of the year. We got a win over Washington. Nashville really hates us from that first game, probably. Uh, our home opener. Edmonton has our number this year for once. Last year we destroyed them. 3-1 win over Montreal, let's go. Got the 12, can we make it 13? 13 wins, can we make it 14? 14 wins, 15 wins. 16, 16, no, 15, we'll take it. Slightly worse than last year, but not terrible. Not terrible, 15 wins is better than I think people would expect from a team like this. Although we do have an 88 overall player, so I mean, maybe it's the coach, maybe the coach. Be the defense, could be the goaltending, could be everything, could be a lot of things. Uh, we do need to get a good goalie prospect in here, so that's what we're going to aim for in the next draft. Dallas Stars win the cup. It'd be one of our rivals too, I think. Dallas, Texas, Houston. Uh, so the Rangers win the first overall pick. They beat us to it, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, Eric Stahl, Jason Spezza, Columbus, there's no way Toronto would trade him to Columbus. Uh, Eric Stahl, Andrew Ladd was somehow playing in the NHL this year, Duncan Keith, Dubinsky, Brad Richardson. I don't think anybody from Houston would retire, right? Nobody from Houston, okay. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Andrew Ladd and Spezza are now coaches. Uh, Brad Richardson is now a scout. Anybody from Houston or Burnaby? Uh, one Burnaby coach retired. It's fine, we can figure that out. Not gonna bother the draft interviews this year. Edit trading block. If anybody's still here in chat and wants to help me with the draft, let it be known now. Uh, as this is supposed to be an inclusive series where you guys help me make selections. So let's start the draft now. If anybody wants to help me make some picks, feel free to let me know. And let's keep going. So the New York Rangers draft medium franchise alternate. So that would have been nice. I completely forgot we got Connor Bedard lined up. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, baby. Connor Bedard or Advey. Just kidding. Connor Bedard. Not even going to question it. Not even going to take a second look at it. 84 overall. Can I have a decision making on your second and seventh rounder? That is very specific. So absolutely yes. So here you go. Second round pick. Take your pick as to who you want. Let me know if you want me to scroll by potential. Uh, this guy looks like he'll have a zone ability, so I'll 
pin him for you. This guy is supposedly a gem. So I'll pin Ross Smith for you as well. If you like. Uh, I can pin Wen Grunowski, but he's not looking great. He's a Dan O'Chara comparison, so I'll pin him for you. What we need, coach. Let's go fast. What we need, coach. What do you mean? Let's go fast. I don't know what you want from me here. Uh, ooh, Smith looks solid though. Ryan Smith Jr. Ryan Smith does look solid. He's or it's Ross Smith. Ross Smith. He's got potential, maybe a superstar ability. It's hot. He's probably gonna be a medium six. So just to let you know, he's probably gonna be medium six potential. This Kretschmann guy here is probably gonna be low elite. He has a zone ability, most likely. Do we need a snipey? Uh, we could use a sniper. Yeah, well, we have the playmaker on that first line. We have the power forward. We could use either a two-way forward or a sniper. It's really up to you. So, yeah, so there's Kretschmann here, 17-year-old, but have a zone ability, so that's pretty significant to know. Uh, Ryan, uh, Ross Smith, you got Ryan Smith in my head. Two-year ETA could be pretty good as well. Most likely medium six potential. Got Wen Grunowski here was Chara style. You know, let's go with Kretz. You want to go with Kretz? All right, I got you. I got you, Dad and I. We got... I thought that one was good, Tino. All right, three, two, one. Any objections? Last chance. Go with Kretzman, right? Kretz, Kretzman. Low elite, 62 overall, with shock and awe. Dad nine, you made the right choice. I was subtly trying to hint at it, but let's go, baby. Welcome to the Houston Arrows, baby. Let's go, low elite selection. So, Dad nine, you also want to pick our seventh rounder. That sounds fair to me. If you want to pick any more, uh, feel free to do so as well. Uh, so, this guy's pro mentality. That's a pretty significant thing. Clifford's a gem. Good leader would mesh well in any locker room. Are there anybody with synergies here? I'm just checking. Any abilities, I mean. Ooh. I know it says medium bottom six. And we need defensemen. So Havlin looks like a really good pick. 17 years old, pinch cycle, defensive defenseman. Looks like a really good pick. But it's hard to ignore... The X Factor. 20 year old goalie, Paul Mary, would mesh well in any locker room. Oh, okay, interesting. I'm not seeing any X Factors here, so. Sorting by what's available. I love drafting with people. It's even a redeem in my chat, but I don't get much coming by during draft time. <laughs> I get that a lot. Yeah, I get that for sure. This is the goal of this series to make it really inclusive. So, if you want to provide any input, like I'm looking at Havlid right now, but I'm also looking at Riddle. Looking at Clifford because he's got the he's got the jam list and he's got the jam. And I also saw the Filatov guy. So those are the people I'm looking at right now. Because X factors are so important in this game. And if you look at it, he's got angle breaker and send it as three. Need a third or fourth goalie. We could probably use a goalie, but I'm gonna look into the next round to draft a goalie. So he could have taped the tape. He has a really, really, really good chance of having angle breaker and send it. Pretty sure that's what it means. Three star is semi accurate. So usually when they show that it's it's usually he has at least one of those. So uh riddle here could be low elite. Havlid looks like the safe pick. Clifford's a gem. I think I'm gonna go with Filatov just on the hopes that he has what we think he has. He doesn't. Medium nine. Not a great pick. Probably gonna live to regret that. Yeah, Clifford's a slow six sniper, 61 overall. I mean, how was medium six? So you know what? It wasn't that bad of a pick. Hall was medium elite, but I don't think we were even looking at him at the time. Yeah, we weren't. So we got Pittsburgh's, this is Pittsburgh's pick? No, this is the pick we got from Sherwood. How did that Ross Smith turn out? Yeah, I'll check that out in a second as well. I'll check out Ross Smith, see how he turned out. All right, so any good players available here? We're probably going to look at a goalie. Probably going to look at a goalie. Orson, backup potential. This draft is really dropping off, it seems like. Crooks. So 
Sorry about potential crooks look at the best player, but we have a pick coming up, so we'll take crooks for the next one. Uh, Cataford. No weaknesses on any of these guys, supposedly, so... That's something they have to work on. There's so many people who come up as no weaknesses, and it's just, like, BS. Like, alright, well, Mackie, there's no way he has these. 3-year ETA, soft-spoken, 20-year-old overager. He's probably gonna have higher potential. Medium 4. No X-Factor, but medium 4. That is really not that bad, actually. I will take that. Medium 4 defenseman. That's a that's a good pick. He's an overager, so we're gonna go in right away, but... Good pick. Probably gonna look to take a goalie here. Probably gonna take Crooks. We're gonna take Crooks right off the bat. Medium fringe, not ideal. Medium fringe is not ideal. Alright, next up. Looking at Herme. No weaknesses again, but I mean, that's always a lie. Uh, Ulrich. Interesting. <laughs> There's no chance he has that. Uh, Whitman here. One year ETA. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Low backup? Josiah Whitman, where are you playing? Where are you playing to be that? He's playing the Liga. I'm going to let him play in the Liga next year. I think I'm going to let him play. I don't want him coming to the NHL and getting ruined. Where the frick did that guy come from? We'll go with Ulrich, 6'5". Welcome to the team, Whitman. Yeah, bro. What a steal. So, we wanted to look at Ross Smith. Medium 6, 68 overall. He's got magnetic and off the rush, but if we're being honest here... We got shock and off, third eye, puck on a string, take the tape, quick draw, and wheels. This guy is going to be an all-star for us. So send a pick, number 166. But Ross Ross Smith was a good pick nonetheless, too. So uh, you couldn't have gone wrong, my friend. Yeah, I like that he's German as well. Representing Germany nicely there. Uh, I'm thinking Gustav Sergeyev here, just like I said, on the off chance he has those X-Factors, it's a no-brainer for me. That's, that's how I draft in this game. I'm, maybe that's not ideal. Lol, Cooperman. Ali Cooperman. I mean, you were right with the Kreitzman guy, right? Sergeyev. Chance he has those. Is there anybody with crazy, like, NHL ETA? I wish you could sort by ETA. That'd be kind of nice. That'd be a nice addition to the game. Because that is something that factors into picks, right? But if I, look, if I go to the, if I scroll to the right here, there's no way to sort by ETA, which kind of sucks. Um, so who are we thinking here? <laughs> Kazakhstan Superman? Sergeyev. Ooh. I like Sergeyev a lot. I wish they'd like write their nationality somewhere that'd be kind of cool all right let's go with sergeyev off chance that he has the x factors we're taking a medium bottom six he doesn't have any x factors but not that bad so dad nine you're up i'll sort by potential for you so you can see everybody's available uh just know that this does not guarantee a medium elite but he's listed as medium elite i note as well both are overagers uh Steckel's also an overager so they're all overagers they all have a five-year eta uh, Steckel has the best chance of having an X Factor, so just letting you know of that. Uh, Sylvester could be good, we need defensemen. So, so far, Steckel and Sylvester are looking like your best options. You got a 20 year old Pabby Boolin, who's probably going to be decent, and a goalie who's five years out. So, those, those are your options there. Let me just see if there's anybody with a crazy ETA again. Remember that, that one guy with the one year ETA looked pretty good. I think Sylvester. Okay, let me check by pin. I think it's one of the guys I pinned for you. So you're thinking Sylvester. Okay, low elite. Incredible drive to win. Loyalty is a concern. Okay. Yeah, I think I think you're honest on that. As much as the tape to tape would be nice. We need a D man. Yeah, you're I agree with you on that one. We'll take Sylvester. Median 7th defensive defenseman, not ideal, but you know what, that's okay. It's the 7th round, it's hit or miss, man, honestly, I don't blame you for that one. You helped me hit really nicely on the Kreitschmann pick, the German guy. Gotta love that, man. You know what, this this franchise is coming along, this franchise is coming along. This is definitely gonna be a series I post on YouTube. 
for sure uh, to try to get some traction with it. So we'll try to hire him as the associate coach, bring him back as the assistant coach. I mean, if I just press yes as the associate, they should just accept the position they're in. So we'll see what they say. Uh, scouts, got to re-sign a loss in our best scout. B scout, got to re-sign Matias Naslin, got to re-sign Lebda. <clears throat> I once had a seventh round goalie when a vest and I get 92 overall I, in like NHL 19 I think it was probably my best draft pick ever yeah bro I remember I remember you can always get goalies in like the seventh round with medium elite potential it was crazy you could always like trade them for picks and stuff like it was it was a little broken you just had to take the like when in doubt take the goalie you know what I mean it's still a little bit like that now but not as much but yeah it's one of those things where it's like when in doubt take the goalie you're guaranteed to get a first round pick in the future. Like it, anyway. But yeah, it was always nice to have those stories though. It was nice to have those stories where you'd have like a seventh round pick turn into a medium elite prospect and just kind of change the game, you know? Uh, he said, yes. He said, yes. They all said, yes. Oh, that was easy. All right, I didn't, I didn't do the resign fade. Who's expiring? We got uh, Berglund here, high seventh defenseman. You know, he's slowly growing into something good, so we'll give him that. Oh, Mary will bring back. McCormick, we're gonna let go of. Uh, Garolo will bring back just to have him play. Ogilvy, we'll let go of Ogilvy. Uh, we'll, we'll sign all the prospects first. So Connor Bedard needs to be signed. Vincatishin needs. Uh, Kreitzman needs to be signed. I don't know why I saw Vincatishin. I or why would I even see that name? That's weird. Uh, okay, we got Maki, Sergeyev. We're gonna sign all these guys. They all need to play. So we'll get Sylvester in here. Sylvester Stallone. Goalies. Uh, Whitman. I uh, screw. We'll just. Mm, I don't want to ruin Whitman and Crooks. I'll let them play where they are because we have enough goalies as it is. Uh, so let's advance day. We'll see who says yes. I don't want to ruin Whitman, bro. I don't want to ruin Whitman right off the bat. Our team's not strong enough to have him play our, as our goalie. So we have 46 players under contract, so we're chilling. Okay, so one-year deal for you, one way, $18 million. All right, Veal, same thing. One year, one way, $18 million. Rykel, uh, one year, one way, $18 million. That should be, oops, just under $18 million. So we'll see who says yes. Renew, 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 beautiful. We have $16 million left. I'll check the goalies. So uh, Felix Sandstrom. Congratulations, you're gonna get a, uh, a beautiful contract, my friend. I'm gonna sign you to, what, like a uh, $13 million deal maybe? That way I have enough money just in case someone asks for a couple of That, Garrett Sparks will bring back. Let's see, he's one of those guys who wants bucks. We'll let go of Garrett Sparks, we don't need him. We'll sign these guys what they want. Yeah, no two year deal. Tucker, go no Elmer. And it's good to keep some of these guys around it forces the prospects to fight for a spot on the team whereas like instead of just giving it to them you go they're all signed everyone said yes let's move on to the free agency now we're not going to sign anybody in free agency i mean maybe i can look for uh some scouts and look for a better coach but that's about it that's all we can really do i'll uh i'll make our trade block available here let's do our best. We'll do 21. That way we're not losing anybody we've drafted so far. I don't want to lose anybody from our draft. So 21 is the minimum age. Whoops. That we're willing to trade. I'll take the picks out of that as well. I don't know why the game is trying to get me to trade away draft picks. Like I understand like, yeah, they, they see me as having a lot of draft picks and like, oh, you need to make your team better now. But it's like, I'm sorry. No matter how many draft picks I trade away, this team's not going to be a playoff contender yet. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not really pushing for playoffs right now. Maybe maybe Connor Bedard can help pull us over the edge with Ivanov but and Farmer on the squad we have two medium franchise players we have a medium elite player we have a medium elite player coming up in Kreitschman like we have some players available who can really make stuff happen oops who's available Pasternak damn damn uh but I'm like I'm not like, expecting anything crazy so we have a B head coach right now let me see if I can do anything better than a B Louis Orlando Allen is looking like the best player. 
I bring in this guy as our goalie coach, that'd be hilarious. Uh, okay. I'm thinking Orlando Allen. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him like a four point four million dollar deal. Oh no, we already have. No, we already have our coach. Screw that. We have our coach. Let's go by teaching. Let's bring in a young goalie coach for our AHL goalie coach. Hopefully he says yes to like an eight-year deal. That way he's just locked up. Hanu Alto. He's ready to go. He'll be locked up long term. Let's just get him signed. Uh, hire scouts. So we'll go by overall. Ooh, okay. So Raphael Lego, keeping. We'll sign Madison Keeping, Elizabeth McGillany. I like that they added a lot of women and, and uh, women scouts and women coaches. I like that. So four, five. Like we literally signed our coach last year. It wouldn't make sense to go out and get another one. Sign this guy. We're, what, what, seven contracts offered? We gotta really get our scouting department up there. Keep getting these gems that we're finding. You know what I mean? We gotta keep finding gems. All right, so we offered 10 contracts to scouts. So we'll drop our 10, we'll free up 10 spots at least, and maybe we'll free up more spots, more scouts. But I think this is fine. We can have a few C's. That way I'm not changing the scouting department crazily every year. So we'll have 10 spots available for these scouts who are, who are available in free agency. So we'll see what happens there. And uh, let's go to the next season. So the go says yes. Basically, as long as they say yes, we're chilling. So they all say yes, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Kovalev, uh, Benin. Uh, Belastic, Beauregard, uh, Bannister, they're all saying yes. So we're in a good spot here. The goalie coach said yes to his eight year deal. That's beautiful. Uh, Madison Keeping, Arnott, we're chilling. We're chilling with all these guys saying yes. Now let's go to the next season.